Robert Milkins through to the semi-finals here at the Bet Victor Welsh Open with a 5-1 win over Mark Allen. The scoreline doesn't really tell a story of how tough that match was, right? Yeah, it was, I was just saying, it's like I've played, just come out of a best of 19. Um, yeah, it was really tough all the way through. It, um, I had to stick in there a lot. I missed a lot of balls. I think he missed probably more, which was quite always surprising, you know. Um, but I think my safety probably just... I, I edged the safety and it probably... Maybe 5-1 wasn't a fair reflection, but I, I, I think that I... I should have been in front, you know, like 4-2 maybe or something. So, I, yeah, my safety probably won me the match in the end. I, I tend to agree with you, but we can talk about safety all you like. That black at the end, I mean, it was a, it was a long old frame, was that frame. The black ball was up on its own for a long time. Mm. But when you hit that ball, it was only good in the pocket, wasn't it? Well, yeah. As soon as I hit it, I sort of, you, you sort of know as a player. But, I don't know, when I was down on it, I was... So I was pretty much, I wasn't sure whether to play safe again actually, but the safety battle on the black was going on for so long, I just thought, you know, let's have a, let's have a pop at it, and it went in. Absolutely. Now, you are a player in, in good form, you know, semi finals of the German Masters yep. just the other week, um, and now here, another semi final tomorrow. Yep. Um, do you feel like your game's sort of going on to another level at the moment? I just think it's confidence, really. It's definitely not another level. It's just like last year, I'd won three matches all year before I won Gibraltar. And I was playing all right then, but I just couldn't win. You know, but now, like, I'm I'm not playing brilliant, but I, winning becomes, like, a good habit, I suppose. And um, I don't know, it's all state, state of mind, isn't it? And I'm sort of going into games now in probably a bit more of a positive um, frame of mind rather than what I was before, where, where I hadn't got a penny, you know, I was literally skinned. And now I'm not worried about money, so I mean that makes a big difference as well. Talking of money and talking of your career, um, that game that must be one of the biggest wins of your career. You you beat Mark Allen, who's the player of the season so far. It keeps you in the race for the the Bet Victor Series bonus of one hundred and fifty thousand yeah. pounds. That win puts you into the Players Championship next yeah. week in Wolverhampton. In your career, where does where does that win sit? Would you say? Yeah, it's a massive win for me. Um, obviously. Winning in Gibraltar was everything for me. That was the biggest, but um, that was a massive win for me as well. I'd be right up there in the top three or four wins. Um, when I lost to Ali Carter in Germany, 6-5, that was such a disappointment because I knew then if I beat him, I was probably in the Players' Championship. And then losing, I knew I had to come here and get to a semi-final. And it's so difficult getting to a semi-final. So, you know, I've, I've hit back really well, and I'm, so I'm pretty proud of myself, to say the truth, the way I've come back after that semi-final loss to Ali. And so you should be as well. So Tian Peng Fei in the semi-final tomorrow afternoon here. You played it three times, you've got a winning record. Um, I, I, you just I, shade it 2-1. Oh, 2-1, is it? And it's it's like quite a while since you played him. Does that matter to you, or do you just go in and play the balls? No, nah, it doesn't matter. I, in fact, I didn't even know I played him three times. I just remember playing him in the Grand Prix. Um, I'm not sure whether that was here. Going back seven years, eight years. Um, but yeah, I played him there and beat him. That was the only match I remember ever playing him. So um, no, I mean, uh, we, we don't. I don't really know his game because I, I I haven't watched much of him. So I just know that he's. Um, he seems really calm around the table, really smooth, like you know, um, and he scores quite well. So I try and try and keep it tight, like I did tonight. But when I get in, try and score a bit heavier. Absolutely. Well, well done today, Robin. All the best for tomorrow. Thank you, Phil. Thank Cheers. you.